Recently, I've been thinking a lot about the state of monks in Legion. And I look back and I remember being asked a question during the Legion beta about how I would rate the Legion monk on a scale of 1 to 10 in comparison to the monks in WAD and in MOP. And originally, I had a bias against the Warlord's Adrenal monk because the expansion itself was boring and the, the WAD monk sort of had a bad stigma because of the expansion itself. And I had a bias for Legion because it was new and exciting. So I gave Legion Monk a 9 out of 10, Wad an 8, and Mop a 10. But after having played uh, Legion Monk for 53 days and 11 hours, including AFK, whatever else, um, I would definitely say that in its current state, it's probably about a 5 or a 6. And looking back on Wad, I'd give that a 10 as well. Like, I'm not even joking about that. Wad was genuinely so much better in terms of gameplay for this class. My first problem with the class is the fact that we've lost so much. Coming from WAD to Legion, we lost Jab, which wasn't a big deal, but it was an extra rotational ability. We lost Tiger Palm's Armor Penetration, we lost Rising Sun Kick's debuff, which some of you might argue that that's better that it's gone, but I would say that it's better to have them, because it was something to keep track of, something to manage. Nowadays it just sort of feels like you just throw the abilities out there without really caring about anything. But when you had those buffs and those debuffs, there was something to track and worry about. We lost Expel Harm, which was just a quality of life thing, which would heal you a bit. It was amazing. I don't know why they got rid of it. We lost Fist of Fury Stun Baseline, and now it's put into a talent row where the other two will never be taken. I think one of the most hurtful changes that they made was removing Tiger Grab Root from the game. The generation of stacks and then spending them and then being able to use it offensively or defensively to heal yourself... It was just great. It was a unique style of play and a unique offensive cooldown. And in its place, we got Stormworth and Fire. And yeah, it's still unique. No other class has anything like Stormworth and Fire, right? But no other class has to deal with an offensive cooldown, which doesn't always work. If you pop Arcane Power as a Mage, you get 30% mana reduction and 30% increased damage. If you pop Battlecry as a Warrior, you get 100% crit chance. If you pop Stormworth and Fire, you get a 35% increase in damage if your clones hit the target. There shouldn't be an if. The only if should be if you hit the target. There shouldn't be this outside source, and that's what Stormworth and Fire does. It just feels really clunky and kind of lazily put together. I mean, ironically, the ability works fine in an AoE scenario. You know, you pop these clones, and they will jump from target to target flawlessly. There is no issue with that. They will use the ability as soon as they get to the target with no problem. But in single target, which is the main focus of its usage in PvP, it just doesn't work. Basically, the main problem with Stormwith and Fire is that there's an outside source dictating the damage increase, which is a bad choice. It should just be you hitting the target which dictates the damage increase, not your clones. Take this for example. If you get Frost Nova and your clones are out, and you all get stuck in a Frost Nova, you counteract the Frost Nova by using your Tiger's Lust, your clones still stay in that Frost Nova. So then when you go and hit the target, they're not copying your abilities, so instead of getting, so instead of getting a 35% damage increase, you are losing 55% damage, which is, which is silly. So in that case, it would be better to dismiss your clones, cancel your offensive cooldown to get more damage, which is, again, really, really silly. Same thing happens for like AoE stuns, like a Demon Hunter's Chaos Nova. If your healer dispels it off you, your clones are still stuck in it. It's little things like that that make the ability clunky and just really tiresome to use. And that's why I find myself using Serenity over it, even though it's weaker. My second problem with the Windwalker Monk class is the damage doesn't really feel impactful. A lot of our burst damage has been put into Touch of Death, which goes off after 8 seconds. So it feels like while you're building up to that, it just kind of feels lackluster, and outside of it especially. And it's not to say that our damage is bad, because it really isn't. I just feel like it's being dealt in a way that doesn't feel satisfying. And that's sort of added to the boring nature of the class, at least for me. A couple of days ago, I actually spec'd into Chi Burst and Chi Torpedo, and just went around doing this. Just that combo is insanely fun to do. There is no reason to be doing that whatsoever, but doing that combo back in Wallers was really fun. Not only because it chunked people's HP and felt good, because it felt like you were doing something. But the act of doing it sort of felt like you are playing a fighting game on console. And you're doing those combos to get big damage. That's what it felt like. And I really enjoyed it. Like, despite having to use your mobility for damage, 
I would prefer that over what we've got now. And also, because Stormwith and Fire splits your damage, it just feels like you're not really hitting that hard. Hitting the big numbers and chunking people's HP bars was what made the class satisfying, at least for me. I would always play Wall as a Drone, I want to get a big sun kick, it felt like I was kicking them in the head. When I was getting those big Fist of Fury ticks, it felt like I was pummeling them into the ground. When you play it now, and I Fist of Fury, it just feels like I'm tickling them. It feels like I'm doing absolutely nothing. Because of Stormwith and Fire, and because a lot of our damage is in Touch of Death. I would go, honestly go back to Wad Monk, without a second thought. Even if I had to put up with the content, I would still play Wad Monk over this and have more fun. I could basically rant about Stormwith and Fire forever, because it's just really, really annoying. I miss the old version of it, just being able to put it on something and have it do cleave, separately from anything else. And one of the main reasons why I miss Stormwith and Fire so much back in Warlords was because of Hurricane Strike. Honestly, Hurricane Strike was my most favorite ability in this entire game. I don't, in comparison to like, we've, as a monk, we've got so many cool abilities. We've got Chi Burst, which, which looks like a Kamehameha. We've got Chi Torpedo, Roll, Flying Serpent Kick across the bloody map. All of this, and Hurricane Strike is my favorite ability. I look at old videos of me Hurricane Striking people, and it is, like, the face melter that is Hurricane Strike is just so good. I'm just watching it and it just feels amazing. I don't even have to play it, just looking at it is more satisfying than playing the monk right now, at least for me. Without a doubt, there are people that are enjoying the class right now and that's fine, but this is just sort of how I feel about it. This is the one expansion where I haven't been happy just playing my one class and have had to have an alt to play because I've been bored of it. In Warlords, I did have alts, but I was playing them because I had raiding on my monks and I wanted a different character to play with them. But I was totally happy playing my monk, even in solo play. World PvP, doing two skirmishes, whatever, I was having a blast with it. In this expansion, I don't really queue skirmishes, because I don't really enjoy it. I play my arcane mage more than I play my monk right now, because it's satisfying. I only log on this character for twos and for threes. And even then, I've been playing my mage more often. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Monk is still my favorite class, but I'm playing it less than anything else, because it just feels wrong. And I've got a lot of ideas on what they could do. Like, for example, control the mists, right? We're basically being forced into using Fortifying Brew, but they could change control the mists, so it's like, it stacks up to three times, it's a, it's a free effuse which heals a little bit more, so that way it doesn't really interfere with your rotation, because you're not spending energy on it. You don't have to use it when it comes up, because it stacks up to three times, and that would make it a decent choice of a Fort Brew. Fort Brew would still be good for, like, heavy burst comps, because you can pop it before you get bursted, but then Control the Mist would just be fun for solo play. But at this point, I'm pretty much just complaining. Honestly, I could complain forever. There's like, there's even the little things like how we're stuck with fist weapons. I hate that. We're the one class that has all of our weapon sheath on our back and we're stuck with fist weapons, which don't show on your character. I find myself mainly using the invisible ones just because fist weapons clip into your, uh, into your character like this. Like it's going into my leg. It's silly. But yeah, at this point, I'm basically just being picky, like I said. I could go on and on about it, but I'm not going to. I just felt like the class needs some changes. I think that they either need to fix Storm Earth and Fire, make Serenity viable again, because its damage increase is less than that of Storm Earth and Fire's, and it has a quarter of its duration, because it, Storm Earth and Fire has two charges, which lasts for 30 seconds, and Serenity lasts for eight seconds with the same cooldown, with only one charge. Yeah, just really wanted to get all that out because it's been on my mind for ages. I'm kind of hopeful because they are talking about major class changes for 7.2 so every day I'm just checking for changes on Wowhead to see if they're bringing out anything for Windwalkers and I'm just praying that it's something good. Like a huge fix for Stormworth and Fire or Stormworth and Fire is being replaced with Tiger Obru. If they did that I would just take my hat off. I would be so happy with that but yeah it's probably not going to happen. They wouldn't do a big change like that until a new expansion comes out but yeah I can dream. But yeah, let me know what you all think. Just wanted to discuss this. Give me your thoughts, and yeah. I'll see you guys later. Fucking storm with the fire.